Today we are here to answer how far can a human eye see? And that's what we are discussing today. Now the thing is, this question is not something which I decided upon. This is something which you asked me. I know you, you, you might not remember it right now. Let me tell you what you really asked. So, welcome to your very own channel by Jews 9th and 10th. And today we'll talk about how far can a human eye see. But sir, what did we ask? Let me tell you. You asked me that if there is, let's say, a far away signboard, it's very difficult to read it, no? I mean, it's too far. You can't read it properly. Yes, but a moon, right? Moon is something which is so far from us, we can even consider to be like at infinity. And you can see the moon, by the way, right? Now, which is okay only because far point of a healthy eye, we all say to it to be infinity. Now, we can see the moon, but we are not able to read a signboard which is here on earth, just a little far from us. What is the problem over here? This is the question you asked me. Sir, why am I not able to read things which are far from me? But we say that, you know what, it's the infinity which is the far point of a human eye. I can see the moon, I can't read the signboard. So the problem statement clear and that's the question we are answering today. How far can a human eye see? So what do you think? What is the problem? Let me tell you. See, we are confusing between two things, visibility and readability. Moon is far from you, but it's so huge. It's big, right? It's just, it appears small. It appears like a penny. Why? Because it's just so far from you. That's the reason it looks small, no? So, can't a person with normal vision see to infinity? It can. A person can see it because the proof is in front of you. It is the moon. It just looks small because in reality, it's quite big, right? So, let's, let's break down our understanding. The first thing we all understood till, till now was objects appear smaller as they go farther. For example, this house over here. Nice. You are looking at it, you know, I would say you are closer to the house. When you just go far away, this house starts looking smaller. And you know what? We can try this small experiment using this ball over here. So, my friend over here will show this ball to you when you are looking at it close enough. Near to the camera, I would say. Yes. Notice. Huh. Can we move the ball a little, little? Yes. You can see the ball is a little to the right. No, this side, this side. Yes, down. Yeah, so you can see the ball is bigger. Now, give this ball to me. Watch. When this ball is in my hand, it looks smaller. If I just take it back, it looks even smaller. And you know what? If I just take it a little more back, it will start looking like a point to you, right? That's the thing. Things look small bigger when they are closer to you and start looking smaller as they move away from you, right? So that's the thing about objects. Do you understand this? All right. Now, this is something about visibility. Let's talk about readability. And for that, let's take our signboard, right? Objects smaller, uh, they appear smaller as they go further, right? For example, this is a signboard, which is letters on the signboard, all right? Stop is written. Let's take two points on the letter S, okay? When you take these two points, this is closer to you. I would say, and you are very, very nicely able to distinguish between these two points. Ha, sir, two point hai, kya hai isme, right? When this signboard goes away from you or far from you, these two points also move far from you, right? But you can see they start appearing, getting closer to each other. If this signboard goes even farther, these two points start appearing even more closer to you. And you know what? There'll be a point when the signboard is so far from you that these two points will start just overlapping each other. You won't be able to distinguish between these two, right? How close they are now? They are very, very close now. Why? Because they are just too, too far. Correct? All right. So things are going far from you. They are appearing smaller, but distance between two points is also decreasing, which means distinguishing between them becomes even more harder for us, right? Correct? So what do we call it? At a certain distance, these two points will seem to overlap and this will make text hard to read from far away. I told you, visibility versus readability. This is the readability we are talking about, correct? All right, now, how do we distinguish between two points? Now the question is, yes, they started overlapping, 
But how is our eye able to distinguish between two points? Let's understand this first of all. If there's one point, this needs to excite one photosensitive cell on your retina for it to be visible to you, right? Okay, yes, correct. Now, another point, it should excite another photosensitive cell for it to be distinguished from this black point. So what, are you, what, am, what am I saying? If you want to see one point, right, distinguished from the other point, these two should excite different photosensitive cells in your screen of your eye or the retina of your eye, right? Your eye has photosensitive cells, no? So these two need to need to excite two different cells. Then only you will be able to distinguish between these two points. Haan bhai, do point alag alag hai. Kaise? Kyunki do cell excite huye te. All right. Now, different points on the object should excite different photosensitive cells on the retina. This is our understanding. Fine. Then only we'll be able to distinguish between them. But what is the possibility? I would say let's quantify this thing. How much far they should be for them to basically excite two different photosensitive cells. Let me tell you, this distance between these two points or angular distance, angular separation between these two points should be 1 60th of a degree, right? How far they are from your eye is fixed. Both of them are equally far. But what is the spacing between these two? These two points should be so far from each other that this angle should be 1 by 60th of 1 degree. Okay, fine. And then only they will excite two different points. You can see the white one exciting this one, black one exciting this one, and this angle should be 1 by 60th of 1 degree. That's it. This is the quantification or the angular separation required between these two points, right? We call it ability of eye to distinguish between two far points is called as the resolving power of an eye. Readability. We are just trying to make it more technical. Readability means resolving power of an eye. All right. Yes. So what should be done? Sir, how to read the signboard? See, signboard is far, which you already have mentioned and you have fixed. There are two ways. Either you move closer, but that is not a possibility because the distance is fixed, right? It's far from you. So what else can be done? You just make the signboard bigger. If you want the signboard to be visible to people from such a far distance, you make it bigger. Otherwise, kuch nahi ho sakta, right? Understood? So yes, make them larger. So, can we really see till infinity? Yes, you can. We can see till infinity as long as the object is big enough and bright enough. Moon dikh raha hai right? It's so far, sun is also visible. It's just very, very far. Why? Because it's just so big and so bright. That's why, right? You can see till infinity until and unless the object is big enough and bright enough. That is the answer. But to read far away signs, a resolving power comes into the picture. Got it? So got the difference between visibility and readability, right? That's something which you asked and today I'm answering it. Fine. Now, let me ask you one more question just to check if you really got it. Do telescopes and binoculars have better resolving power than our eyes? Is it? Tell me in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, if you liked what I took from your comments, make sure you like this video, right? You share it with your friends if you, if you find this information helpful. And you subscribe to our channel because that is extremely important. Ideas come from you. We are the ones who just help you out with those to make you understand, right? So make sure you are a subscriber to the channel because then only you'll understand what we do. And we are doing a lot of great stuff. Be a subscriber. Join this family and enjoy and learn, I would say. Thank you. We'll see each other again. Take care.